right, so today we have the last few cards from the Dawn of Majesty set. These last 10 cards that are not yet in the game. Um, yeah, it's those last few cards from the set that usually have weird effects or unconventional effects, I, I should say. Um, or some are just really simplistic. So we're gonna go through these today. Uh, right, so yeah, they are they are all of them are already scripted, which um, saves us some trouble. But yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. uh, Master model diplomat. This guy stupid summon, tag one monster in your grave and one face a monster your opponent controls. Equip that monster from the graveyard to the opponent's monster. While well, a monster is equipped with by this effect, it loses attack equal to the equipped monster's attack. Okay? The opponent's monster equipped with equipped because you control cannot activate their effects. So what do we have here? Let's go by Eri. Uh, gotta go equip. Single trigger. Oh, it's for the first effect. Summon success. Delay. So it doesn't miss the timing. Um, it needs the targeting flag though. So let me grab this real quick. Uh, Power target or something. Yep. Effect. Flag. Power target. Okay. Uh huh. And then the functions, we're gonna take a look at those real quick. So, uh, condition. Is someone type tribute? Makes sense. And then the target. Uh, this is false because it targets two cards, so you cannot redirect the effect, the targeting. Okay, is a testing target, filter one, grave, passes to PS parameter. So, let's see, what's the filter one? Type monster in your graveyard, yes. Uh, in his existing target, filter 2 in the opponent's monster zone. And you pass C as parameter to that. And filter 2 needs to be face up. Okay, that's why you pass C because you need to check that it's a proper equipped target. Okay, that's probably fine, I think. Okay, and then, okay, we select the target here. G1 is the first target, the one in the graveyard. MTC and then it's the label object. And then we select the second target based on the first target. Uh, now this might need a I'm just gonna put it category leave grave just to be safe. Um, for the one in the graveyard of course. Uh, DC. DC, yes. Okay. That's in case um, something like, uh, what's my call it? Neko Valley. That's how Neko Valley can negate it. I'm not sure if it's required, but it doesn't have to be here. Okay, then operation. You see is the label object, which is the one in the graveyard. And Z should be Okay, and then you flip it either opposite, okay. So E C is the one in the graveyard, T C is the one on the opponent's build. So if this is related to effect and check equip target. Or is it the opposite? We say sub rate effect. Yeah, this is the opponent side. Shouldn't this be the other? Oh no, it's the it's the correct one. My bad, my bad. Okay. This is the sub rate effect. Equip. Do the equipping, and then it registers an attack. A type equip effect on the monster on the field, where it loses attack equal to. Liquid master attack. Uh huh, permanent, ignore immune, seems fine. 
Okay, and then moving on to the other effect is the cannot activate stuff. Yep. Failed play the target, cannot activate. Opponent must equip with equip cards, cannot activate effect. So, I'm zone, opponent side, and the limit is. Okay, so, lock is the activated location for the effect we're checking in this particular timing. Uh, if it's in the master zoom, and it's a master effect, and that card, it has equipped cards that are controlled by the player that owns this effect, so you, then they fall under the cannot activate uh, banner. Okay, so this seems fine. Uh, so yeah, let's go try it out real quick. So what do we need? We need a monster in our graveyard, a monster on the opponent side, with an effect, preferably. And we need to, to tribute some of this guy, so we can, and then we can test the other effects as well. Okay, so let's go with Exiled Force, um, and I guess let's go with something like that, so we can see the attack difference. Um, let's use just to confit as tribute folder, and then I'm gonna foolish burial the key mace. So it's in the graveyard. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh, so we need four cards, we need a turn, don't shuffle deck. Okay. So we'll start by milling the key mace. And then pass, and I'm gonna summon Exiled Force. And now we're gonna make the plays for this guy. So we special summon for Confit, tribute summon this guy. Okay, and didn't prompt me to activate the effect. Okay, maybe this is the problem. I had a feeling that was. Let me quickly comment it out and check. Because it's not an actual equip spell, maybe there's no proper equip target for it. Let's see. So summon this. Okay, so it was there, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna target key mace in my graveyard and excite force. Okay, and something went wrong during the resolution. Okay, first of all, uh, actually, yeah, the same thing went wrong here. Okay, so let's change this first of all. We just need this to be face up, I think. Oh, it is face up. up uh, this. I don't think we need EQ build to 2 then. Almost in your game, face almost the opponent controls. Yeah, it just needs to be on the opponent's side. Let's do this, and we don't need this here. And then let me remove the check equip target part. It's missing the equip limit thing. Uh, let me copy it from the carrier, Union Hanger. Uh, this part. Uh, 
Uh, which card needs it be? Mm, the the one that becomes an equip spell, I think. So he's seen is this fact. Let's see. So because it's not an a, because it's just a monster, it's not a regular um, equip spell. It's just weird rulings, so we need to add the uh, that equip limit effect to make it so the game knows that it's okay to be equipped to this monster in this particular case. Because normally you cannot be equipped like that. That's, just, that's basically the gist of it. Okay, um, one, 57. Oh, this. Right, okay. Just do this. Let's see. Let's get a handler. Let's go again. is slightly diff does something else. Now let me try putting this on AC as well. And let's go again. We'll get it right one of these one of these times. Yes. Gave the effect so Imperial Order because it says while a monster is equipped with by this effect it loses attack. So this is not part of the equip spell per se. Um, that's why we need to be careful here because I have a feeling that if we negate it with Imperial Order, it's gonna lose the attack boost. The it's not a boost, but uh, the reduction. I mean. Doesn't have the stamp, the uh, disable reset. Okay, that makes sense. Anyway, this seems to be working fine. Mm, let me 
just put a couple of comments. Uh, decrease attack, and this is the equip limit. Equip limit. It's not being used there. And I have a feeling it's not even passed, so yeah. Activate, equip. Okay, so the quest card looks good. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, the zombie tuner, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Messenger spirit of the fatal eye, Psycho Bombos. The long ass name. Okay. Uh, level two tuner. During the end phase of the next turn after this guy was banished, you can spell someone this banished card. So that's a little weird. Uh, okay. And if this if this card is special summoned, apply this effect based on which of the following cards your opponent has more of in their graveyard. Monster card. Banish this card, and if you do, your opponent banishes one monster from the graveyard. Spell trap card, send this card to the graveyard. And if you do, your opponent sends one monster they control to the graveyard. You can only use each effect once per turn. Alright, so what do we have? Uh huh. First is the special summon upon, not upon, but when it's banished in the next turn. Okay, field to your own. Uh, Pheasant, Count Limit, that's 4 hard ones per turn, Location Removed, and what are these functions? We don't need this by the way. Okay, SP Count, uh, Get Turn Count, Iga Handler, Get Turn ID plus 1. Yep, that seems fine. So Turn ID is the the turn number where this card, which in this case is the card itself, uh, was placed in the current status or position or location, whatever you want to call it, that it's in. During the end phase of the next turn, so it needs to be if it was placed during, it was banished during turn 5, it needs to, the turn count is to be 6, and in the end phase for this to trigger. So this seems correct. Uh, okay, so AG, this should check if you can summon it, I suppose. You have room. And this can be special summoned. If you press summon location removed, okay. And then it's POP. It's easy to handle. Uh, if you have no room, this is not needed. You don't need to check again if you can special summon it because when, when it goes to special summon, if it cannot special summon, it just won't do it. So, yeah. 